In this SimScale structural analysis tutorial, I'll show you how to simulate a mechanical arm with multiple linear contacts. First, let's import our geometry. If you're an Onshape user, you can use the direct link as I'm doing here, but we can also import the native CAD formats of the majority of CAD software out there. Once the geometry is in the workbench, it's time to create a simulation. For this case, we are going to do a static analysis. So I'll go ahead and select that. With the simulation created, the settings will propagate in the simulation tree on the left. The first thing we need to do is create a mesh. I'll use purely automatic settings and go for a medium level of refinement. Whilst the mesh is running, we need to establish connections between the different parts in the model. SimScale automatically detects the contacts and then we can go through these contacts and change them as we see fit. So for this analysis, I want to have sliding contacts on the bearings, which means that a small degree of rotation will be allowed. And now it's important to select the slave surface as the smallest surface in the contact pairing. In our user interface, the slave surface is shown in pink and the master is shown in blue. Now in the middle of the, the model, we've also got a connection between the two arm pieces. Now for this, these would likely be welded or rigidly connected in some way. So we're going to establish a bonded connection. And this was actually the contact that was automatically generated anyway. Finally, we need another sliding contact on the second bearing in the model. So I've done this in exactly the same way and ensuring that the slave surface is the smaller surface. Next, let's assign materials to the parts. Now for sim simplicity, I have allocated steel to all the different parts in the model. With the material set up, we need to establish the boundary conditions for the simulation. So I'm applying fixed supports to the ends of the cylindrical pieces, which means that they're not they're going to be restricted from movement in all directions. I also I'm going to add a force onto the top of this arm of 4000 newtons. Lastly, I'm going to select the number of processors that I want this job to run on. So I'm going to select eight and this will hopefully give us a really quick runtime. Now, once I've got all these setups um, established for the simulation, let's go back and check on the mesh. And it seems like it's already done. So that took two minutes to mesh this, um, this geometry with 76,000 nodes and it's looking all right. With our mesh ready and simulation setup finished, it's time to start the simulation. So I'm going to go ahead and name it appropriately and then send it off for the cloud solving process. So the simulation took six minutes and we can now have a look at the results. So visualizing firstly von Mises stress, we can see where the high areas of stress are located in the model and it seems to be on these supporting arms. So this not, might be an area to consider um, refortifying or, or making some design changes. Now it's also interesting to have a look at the actual deformation in the model. So let's turn on displacement and we're going to need to scale it up a bit to get an idea of the shape of the deformation. So scaling by 100, we can see what the, um, what the shape of the deformation is, um, is going to look like. 
obviously this is this is very much um, exaggerated but it's still interesting to get an impression of how this structure is going to respond so I hope this tutorial has given you an impression of the SimScale workflow and that you can now use multiple linear contacts in some of your own projects. Thanks very much for watching.